Hey there, fellow gamers. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we'll talk about the rise of Bloodstrike, but before starting the video, a quick disclaimer for all of you guys. I'm a gamer through and through, and when there's a game worth the hype, you better believe I'll be all over it, hyping it up. But here's the deal, if there's a game out there that's getting way more hype than it deserves, especially when there are better games around, I'm not gonna jump on that hype train. I'm all about playing all sorts of games and giving them a fair shot, so I'm not here to spread any hate. I just want to keep it real and make sure the truly awesome games get the love they deserve. Now, let's get back to the video. So, Bloodstrike is a game that gained so much popularity amongst gamers and is still growing in the gaming community. This game gained so much hype and is still growing. So, grab your snacks, sit back, and let's jump right into it. Alright, so first things first, for those who might not know, Bloodstrike is a first-person shooter, FPS, battle royale game developed by NetEase Games. Think of it as a mix between Call of Duty Warzone and Apex Legends, but with its own unique twist that keeps players coming back for more. It's fast-paced, it's intense, and it's downright addictive. Let's take a step back and look at how Bloodstrike came to be. Bloodstrike started off as a project. The dev team also released the beta version of the game on their site. This game was also promoted by big YouTubers, but I don't have any information about whether it was a paid promotion or free. Also, after releasing the game globally, devs decided to give free gold and so many free in-game rewards so that people who tried to leave the game wouldn't leave, and devs also paid some gamers to promote Bloodstrike on social media like TikTok and YouTube. But this is not it. Devs also made Discord servers in which they announced some events, in which they were giving real money and some in-game rewards to create content related to Bloodstrike. See, promoting a game is not a crime, every other game out there is promoted. Obviously, devs want to pack their games with as many players as possible. They want us hooked, playing, and talking about their game non-stop. It's all about building a huge community. But is Bloodstrike really worth that much promotion and hype? We'll cover this topic later. Don't miss out, hit subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Now, let's talk about what makes Bloodstrike so special. One of the standout features of the game is that it offers a bit different gameplay than any other Battle Royale game. Not just this, but it also gives you control to customize almost everything in the game. Whether it's weapons, characters, or gameplay styles, Bloodstrike lets you tweak almost everything to suit your playstyle. Also, this game is not pay to win, which I think is very good indeed, like, no matter how much you pay, you won't be able to unlock any small advantage over other players. Also, there are so many features in the game, from new weapons and skins to different characters and their special abilities, there's always something to strive for. And the main point is that this game is also playable on a potato PC or laptop, which I think is the most crucial thing to provide Call of Duty Warzone and Apex Legends-like gameplay for low-end PC gamers. But what really sets Bloodstrike apart is its community. From day one, the developers have been incredibly responsive to player feedback. They've implemented changes and updates based on what the community wants, which has fostered a loyal and engaged player base. If you've got the skills, you might just find yourself competing with the best of the best. So, what's next for Bloodstrike? The devs have big plans. From new maps and game modes to more customization options and seasonal events, there's a lot to look forward to. They're also working on expanding the community of the game, which should add another layer of depth to the overall experience. Now, I want to hear from you. Have you played Bloodstrike? What are your favorite aspects of the game? And if you haven't played it yet, what are you waiting for? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Let's get a conversation going. That's it for today's video, folks. If you enjoyed it, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, keep grinding.